this gorgeous day at Red Oak Plantation. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, sitting here with my old dog Elvis. You really don't want to waste a day like today. So I was thinking, why don't we go blow some shit up? You want to blow some shit up, Elvis? Yeah, let's go blow some shit up. Yeah, let's go blow some shit up. Yeah, good dog. Yeah, all right, let's go blow some shit up. You know, last time, we went to blow stuff up with the beavers. And once again, they have made their mark on Red Oak Plantation. And the war's back on. This time we're going to win, though. And I'll show you why. So in episode one, we built a beaver bomb. Something like this. It made a nice little hole. Took them a while to get it fixed. I'm not sure it did any real permanent damage. Well, this time, I figured we'd go big. We'd go with what I have deemed the Minna Bucket Bomb. However, I did some quick aerial recon. And you know something? Those beavers, they've gotten smarter. They've gotten meaner. And they're building their stuff a whole lot tougher. So I went back to the drawing board myself. And I came up with the hydraulic fluid bucket bomb. I have no idea what this thing weighs. Now, I will say it's north about 25, 30 pounds. It's going to make a real big bang. I don't think those beavers stand a chance. What you think, Elvis? You think those beavers stand a chance? <laughs> Neither do I. Huh? remnants of the explosion but we would call that a good flow right about now there's my beaver team right there the photo team beaver dam destruction team we did a good job team uh, the water level is now level on both sides of where the dam used to be so we don't know exactly how big our bomb was, but we know somewhere between 25 and 30 pounds is very effective. <laughs> we also know that my truck down way down there is minimum safe distance. <laughs> that was good. One. Good balance. 